Hello everybody and welcome back to Chrono Trigger and this is part 18. And so just a little thing here. Uh I had gone all the way out of Ozzy's castle here. And I had stocked up on uh mid tonics and revives and just some other items too. I think like some heat uh heal items as well. And then I ventured all the way back here, and so I actually uh, recorded all that, but uh, I was just so I would have um, all that done already. But anywho, so this is uh, cut after all that venture there. You don't have to see me do all that. And uh, so now we're going to fight Magus here. And so now we're... We're pretty pretty much this entire video is going to be the the fight against Magus here because this battle actually takes quite a bit. Um, um, I believe it takes me about like probably like fifteen minutes. I think maybe less than that. I don't know. It it took a good deal of time because of how Magus works there. It actually takes up a lot of time to actually. Uh, deal damage and he actually has quite a bit of of um, of HP and all that so what uh, what Magus has is that he does this thing to where he has uh, different magical barriers and what it is is that um, for example if he has a barrier that only and it will be like a only like uh, let's say he does a fire barrier. Only fire can can hit him. And you'll see here in just a moment. Um, you'll see he'll do this little barrier change there, and it will say like only like magic will uh, either this magic will hit him. Yeah, see this right here. And it says only lightning damages. So now only lightning attacks can actually hurt him. Now, luckily during this one, I actually had it to where Kron um, uh, Magus' barrier stayed with the lightning barrier for a good short while. And that was amazing because then it allowed... Um, it allowed Chrono to do his attack, and then um, if I needed to, I can have Meryl and um, uh, and Chrono, uh, not Chrono, and Frog do their healing abilities, if need be. And thankfully, uh, Frog does have his heal his heal technique, which actually does a little bit more than when it, when it uh, heals a lot more than what it did uh, when it first. Um, Battled Magus here. Um, this is uh, this is actually the second attempt, which um, which is also the final attempt there. I actually do it this time here. And um, so this battle, it it can be very hard. Um, this is probably one of the harder battles that you can actually come across because of how Magus works. And he actually does do techniques that actually really hurt sometimes. Even if it doesn't hurt you real bad, it can add up when he does certain attacks. And you'll actually see later he does this one ability that actually really, really hurts. Like, it could probably one-shot you if you don't have enough HP. So, as we saw there, Rog, uh... I got down there and so we revive him. Um, I'm not really sure who else, like, dies. I know, like, Kurno and... And I think maybe Meryl dies too, but I don't remember. I actually think that uh, uh, Meryl actually sur survives most of the time while Chrono and um, Frog actually have a little harder time for some reason. So... What I did was, uh, since Meryl has the haste ability, I, I, I pretty much have everybody get to, um, get the haste effect on everybody. Um, I think I usually start with either Frog or Meryl, because they're the healers, and then that way, um, they can get to healing a lot faster than, 
you know, then let's, you know, say, you know, Chrono can get his turn. Um, now I know I got the, the, the mid tonics now, cause I actually bought like quite a bit of them. I, I think I, I might've actually might, might've over, <laughs> over, over spent some money and, uh, uh, Cause I I had like a good deal of money. I think I had like probably like two hundred thousand money, and um, but but anyways. So once uh, once it gets to the water, um, water would be actually a good one because frog and Meryl, as you saw there, you can do the ice water, and that will actually count as damage, um, and. Um, uh, that combined attack there is actually pretty powerful, and so um, it comes in handy for dealing some big damage. So, usually at times it's pretty good to actually keep everybody above, uh, I believe 250 would be good for this intro battle here. When he does the thing to where he starts, when it says uh, Magus is risking to cast a spell, it means that his his defense is down, and he doesn't have any barriers going on, so he's actually um, vulnerable during that moment. But when he does his spell, it really hurts. So probably when he starts to do that, heal everybody to max, like just get everybody full health. Uh, try to get everybody's HP to like over 300 because um, I believe I believe the attack damages for like at least 270 each depending on the, your magic uh, defense there and um, I think I think the first time he does it I think it wiped out Chrono and Frog and I had to have Meryl like revive everybody and it was it's a, yeah this right here so when he does this He's going to do his uh, little big spell. So, right here, I actually use... Uh, I try to get a good hit in, and then I use Chrono to heal Marl. And so now, it's a good time to actually heal. And this is it. This is it's called Dark Matter. And it's just a rotating... Well, well this is it right here. And boom. Really hurts. So actually, it looks like 250 is actually uh, a good deal of HP that you should have. So if you get everybody over 250, you will survive and you'll be able to, like, um, if everybody survives, like if you have the same party members as me and they have the same techniques, use heal or something. Now, with that right there, I, I did an emergency, um, I did the Lapis uh, item there, which heals everybody for 200. And that actually came in handy because this would have killed me, actually. And it barely does. And, um, thankfully, uh, frogs heal kind of put everybody to reasonable levels there. But now it's a good time to actually start doing a massive healing thing there. So when he does this, just if everybody's low on health, just have, um, do the aura roll for Chrono and Marl, and then have Frog do his healing ability, and that should get you to pretty much ha uh, to full health. Because um, Frog's uh, healing ability actually does quite a bit, um, almost a hundred each. So. so if you are doing good and you're at full health. Then go ahead uh, like this and risk uh, doing, um, you know, doing them big attacks there. But um, unfortunately, like for me right here, I gotta, I gotta risk doing some stuff here, and uh, so a after he does the attack and you survive, actually go into full heal mode. Like do both the R world and. And the uh, frog's heel.
Now, if you do have Robo in your party, um, well, actually, no, you can't because um, I, I, I don't. I don't show it here, but later on in the recording session that I do, I, I start swapping uh, characters out um, at times. Uh, because as soon as a character learns a technique, then it might open up a um, a, uh, a dual uh, technique or maybe even possibly a uh, triple technique. And... Um, as far as I know, uh, right now, uh, Robo and Marl can actually do the Aura, Aura Beam, which is sort of the same thing as the Aura World, just, it's just with Robo and, and Marl. And it's, it, like I said, it just does the same thing there. And I, I just realized that, uh, you actually can't, uh, have anybody else other than Chrono and Frog at this point here, so... And it's probably best to actually just keep Marl in your party, because uh, then that way you have good healing. So once you fully heal everybody and Magnus is not exactly doing anything, then go ahead and start doing some massive attacks there. And then when he does um, his like risk into attack there and you are full health then go ahead and do the full attacks as well because then that way you get some attacks in there and then once he does his strong attack like he just did then you can try to do a full heal run and and then you'll just kind of uh, rinse and repeat and sooner or later you'll you'll eventually you'll eventually beat him and I believe I believe the final blow that I do to Magus is with ice water. So right here, since everybody's full health, I'm actually gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna uh, maybe you can either do switch to um, using uh, that X strike there, or you can have the ice water attack. But that really depends on what you want to do. And um, I left it to where you might have to do it to where you might want to do uh, Crota and Frog's attacks there just so that Marl can be on backup just in case like someone needs uh, he either healing or needs MP or something because uh, like I did right there um, Frog was getting a little low on MP so I used a mid tonic or mid uh, mid tonic uh, mid ether and yeah. So I'm going to be doing okay for right here, so I'm actually going to do the ice water here. And I'm not sure if this is the, the last blow, I'm not sure. Might be the next time that, the, that I use this. Yeah, that's going to be on the next one. Yeah, it's kind of best to, when he actually does the, the big attack right there, just don't do anything. Just wait till everybody gets their turns up again, and just just do your your full heal run again. That's you gotta gotta play it smart, or else or else you're gonna do what I did, where you're just not gonna like do very well. Now, thankfully, I probably could just go full. I suppose I could go full retard and just go, you know, go balls to the wall and just keep, like, uh, reviving everybody when they die. Um, but that actually wastes probably turns and it's not very effective. No, I think right here. Yep, this is right here. This is the, the last attack here. This ice water will defeat Magus. And boom. And we get the little emulator achievement for that for defeating Magus there. So after we beat Magus here, we get this little cutscene right here. And we actually find out during this cutscene, what Magus' uh, attentions actually were. And 
and pretty much Magus's uh, actual goal was actually to um, he was actually trying to actually stop Lavos here and I guess during the timeline because obviously it didn't work because he actually still shows up in the year 1999 so um, right here things go differently um, he kind of awakes like for a moment and he actually sends everybody off uh, in a time gate and you'll see right here this time gate is actually activating and you see the little blue circle there that's actually a time gate and it actually sends um, well you'll see here it sends Magus to a different timeline than what Chrono and the others go to. Um, which is kind of weird because that's just one big portal. But, um... So we get this little dream sequence right here. This is actually... This is not, like... <laughs> what happens here. It's not like, oh, and suddenly... Suddenly this is what's actually happening. So... Um, I believe this is... I'm gonna guess Chrono... Like... Uh... Like, uh, dreaming about this? Like, he's having a vision of actually... Being married married to Marl. For some reason, because I don't think they really had any... It is a thing to that Marl and Chrono do have a thing for each other, and um, if you played the the PlayStation version, you actually do see them get married at the end of the game during the little animated cutscene. And um, but anyways, uh, so they get sent back to the prehistoric era, which I don't know why they get sent all the way here. I don't know why they they, they didn't get sent to. Um, the, let's see, I think it's, uh, 35,000 BC. I think that's the, the era called. I, I don't remember what, what, uh, what year it is. I know it's like just a, it's a big thousand, but it's not, uh, you know, like millions and millions of years. So anyways, we, uh, we get sent back to, uh, Alias timeline here in, um, so since we're actually kind of stuck here, we actually, well, actually that's not true because we can actually go through the time gate, uh, but um, right now we're in this timeline there and there's actually something going on during this timeline and we're going to help Alia uh, deal with some things in this timeline. And um, So right now after I go outside there, I will be saving and that will be it for this episode there. And uh, we will actually be doing some stuff in the prehistoric era. And um, so, yep. We'll see you guys in the, uh, the next episode there. And uh, we're going to be getting into the prehistoric stuff here. So anyways, that's the end of this video here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Twitter. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So peace.